Hi, this is Dr. Campbell, and so today I wanted to talk about how to improve school security. The continued escalation of school shootings has prompted officials to increase and modify school security. The entire community that supports school efforts are placing additional pressure that will ultimately deplete resources intended for the education of children. Schools will need to develop programs that target the fundamental cause of school shootings before considering additional school security. Otherwise, school security mandates will be unable to stop future school shootings. Politics is playing a major role in the development of additional school security measures that will not expand gun control. For example, a local Virginia House Speaker seeks to explore the recommendations of a steering committee to expand school security while avoiding the debate on gun control. Some believe that many politicians desire to turn schools into structures that resemble a prison. According to Virginia Democrat Marcus B. Simon, and this is a quote, the Virginia House GOP wants to turn our schools into fortresses as secure as courtrooms and police stations and internal areas of airports just to avoid having a discussion about gun safety. Furthermore, students across the nation have banded together to voice their support for gun control. Students recently participated in a national walkout as an effort to voice their displeasure with the present gun control laws. Both sides of the debate of the measures that need to enhance school security have erred. The challenges are both sides must evaluate the root cause of school shooters before determining the possible alternative that will increase school security. And so the question is, what is the root cause of school shootings that could result in expanding school security? All school shootings involve students, teachers, administrators, and staff members. The one common factor is revenge. Revenge is an act of doing something to hurt someone because that person did something that hurt you. The media has portrayed blacks as more revengeful when compared to whites. Because of this high fear that has been illuminated by the media, Many urban schools will not have to suffer the consequences of a school shooter as white schools have had to encounter. We find that in predominantly black schools, black students' revenge is isolated while white student revenge is global. When black children have differences with students or teachers at school, they attempt to solve the challenge with the individual. White children are very different due to the enjoyment of white privilege. When white children have differences with students or staff in the school, they decide that their revenge should be taken out on the entire school population therefore making white schools unsafe when compared to black schools. This type of advantage for black schools is a result of an elevated school security system due to the portrayal of blacks in the media. We find that many urban schools resemble the structure of elevated school security because they employ strategies such as school uniforms and metal detectors, just to name a few. Students become school shooters because they have experiences that are hurtful. 
School shooters are not part of the positive school experience that some students enjoy. As a matter of fact, schools are structured so that very few students have positive experience. The few students who had those positive experiences are normally involved in some sort of athletic or participation, athletics or participation of some sort of school activity, therefore affording the, them the opportunity to develop positive relationships with their teachers. Schools need to ensure that the 90% of the students that do not enjoy the positive school experience do not become a school shooter which results in expanding school security by promoting positive teacher student classroom relationships and due to the demographic polarization polarization in black schools it becomes promoting positive racial teacher student classroom relationships teachers can help by ensuring that they develop positive relationships with all students. We know that there is evidence that when teachers have positive classroom relationships with students, that students have, posit have a positive schooling experience. In a transformation process conducted by me, Dr. Campbell, it was found that students increased their academic progress when schools used their efforts to promote positive teacher-student classroom relationships, which eliminates the need for increased school security. This is Dr. Campbell. You can get additional information on our website at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. And of course, if you want to talk about it, you can call me on my direct line, 856-566-3267. Have a great day, and thank you very much. Yeah. Be sure to check out PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Check it. Look, uh, yo, look. Pull your pencils out, class is in session. Let's focus on loving our neighbor without a question. Visit PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Leading classrooms together like a marriage bond. Kick racism out, that ain't what life's about. For more information, check the website out. Yeah.